Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install the Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons mod pack. Now, this is actually a really, really cool mod pack that's been blowing up recently. It basically says IC2, Thermal Expansion, all those textile mod packs. Throw them out the window. Get them out of here. We are going to be focusing on just an awesome quest-based adventure, exploration, and just overall dungeon-like mod pack, right? It's adventures and it's dungeons, and that's what this mod pack is. It's roguelike adventures and dungeons, and it is absolutely incredible. It looks like one of the coolest mod packs that's came out in a very, very long time. So as soon as I found it, we have got to get a video on this and got to do a video on how to show you how to get it because I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Nevertheless, though, this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below. The breakdown dot xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 24-hour Minecraft server running roguelike adventures and dungeons with just one click. What's really cool about this mod pack is it is a dungeon crawler mod pack and it works with friends. Playing this with friends is super, super fun and how I'd actually recommend playing it. I'm going to be doing a video on how to start a server a little later in the week, but why not go ahead and skip the complicated process of starting one of yourself and buy one with Apex for just 10 bucks a month. You can get an awesome server running this mod pack 100% lag free and you can set it up with just one click. So again, check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex modded. We love Apex so much, we use them ourselves for our own network Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So this isn't actually a page you want to go to. This is just the information page about the mod pack. It's not how you install it. How you install it is actually using the Twitch app, which you go to the second link down below. It will take you here where you can download the Twitch app. Just click on the big white download button in the center of the page there, and in the bottom left, it will download the Twitch app. Now, for this, you will need a Twitch account, but we can set that up here in a second. So if we go ahead and minimize our browser here, on our desktop, we do have the Twitch app. If this isn't on your desktop, hit the uh, Windows button in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, it's this little Windows icon. Click on that and type in Downloads, and then click on the Downloads folder here. The Twitch app will be in here. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once you found it, go ahead and double click on it. It'll open up this installer right here. Look at that. Nice and pretty and sleek. Just click on the big purple install button. It'll go through install and then it will launch the Twitch app. You may have to click finish, but it'll launch the Twitch app. Now, I've already logged into the Twitch app, but you will need to log into the Twitch app if you haven't already. This is super simple. Just log in with your Twitch account. You most likely already have a Twitch account, and if you don't, you can sign up for one for completely free. Once you've got your Twitch account created, you're logged in. You will be right here. Click on the mods tab right here. And then you want to click on Minecraft. Once you've clicked on Minecraft, you want to click on the purple install button down here. And it will go ahead and do its magic and get Minecraft installed. And now you'll see no profiles currently installed. And that's correct because you don't. You then want to click on Browse All Mod Packs here. And you want to type in Rogue Like. And there it is, Road Like Adventures and Dungeons. So once you've found this, you might have to search it and type it all in here for yours to show up. Make sure it is spelled correctly, Rogue, R-O-G-U-E-L-I-K-E, -E, for Road Like and then Adventures. So once you've typed that in, this will pop up. As you can see, it's a mod pack with over 250 quests, tons of characters, new structures, Twilight Force, all sorts of stuff, an adventure-based mod pack. Go ahead and click on the purple install button and it will automatically begin installing and downloading roguelike adventures and dungeons. I will see you once it is installed. It's got a ton of stuff to download. As you can see, over 3,000 files it's copying there. So this might take a minute, but I will see you once it's done after a convenient jump cut. And I must say, for a mod pack, that installed pretty quickly. So there we go. Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons will eventually finish installing. And when it does, you'll have this purple play button. Click on that purple play button and it will open up the Minecraft launcher that we all know and love. After it downloads of course, but once it is open here, you will need to log in to your Minecraft account. There we go, launcher is now open, and as you can see, we do need to log into our Minecraft account here. Now, this is going to be the same information you use to log into Minecraft.net, the default Minecraft launcher when you just want to play Minecraft Vanilla, and the reason for that is because this is the Vanilla Minecraft launcher. This is from Mojang. This is theirs that they set up, as you can see down here, Mojang, right? This is their official launcher. So, let's go ahead, in our information here, and I'll see you once I have. There we go. Now, we can log on into Minecraft, and you might be like, Nick, down here it does not say, it does not say roguelike adventures and dungeons, what is happening? Well, if you click the little green arrow here, you will see roguelike adventures and dungeons right there. You can go ahead and click on that, but don't hit play just yet. 
click on the three lines up here in the top right, and then come over here to launch options. Then we want to come down here where it says roguelike adventures and dungeons, click on that, and then I'm going to do a few things. First, I'm going to change my resolution just because uh, I want you guys to be able to see whenever I'm in game. And then we want to come down here to where it says JVM arguments. Now, next to RAM, this is actually not a super resource intensive mod pack, so you don't need to run it on six gigabytes like you do some of the more tech based mod packs. You can actually run this on like 4.5 gigabytes of RAM, right? You can probably run it on less, but we're going to do 4.5 gigabytes just to be safe. Once you've changed that from 3,000 or 3 gigabytes to 4,500 or 4.5 gigabytes or whatever you want to do, do not lower the RAM. But once you've done that, go ahead and click save. And then come back over to news. Just confirm one more time that Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons is selected. And then click play. Now as with any mod pack, it is going to take a while to launch the first time you launch it up. It's a mod pack. And it's got hundreds of mods that it has to enable and set up and do all of that stuff. So whenever we get basically everything downloaded from the Minecraft launcher down here. I will see you as the mod pack is starting up to basically go over some of the things that you might experience in the setup process so you know not to worry about them or freak out about them. There we go, Minecraft Launcher is finishing up downloading and it will go ahead and start to launch on up the mod pack. Now, this is a smaller mod pack in comparison to those huge tech mod packs with almost 300 mods in them. That being said, it is still going to take a while. I'm going to watch the RAM here, right, and see if we get up to any sort of like near that 4 gigabytes of RAM that we added. And if we do, I'll let you know. That way you can kind of tell exactly where your RAM will need to be. And, uh... In game, you might want to check as well. If you're having lag in game, you need to up your RAM. But it doesn't look like we're getting over 1,500 too much here, which is actually really, really good. Nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and let this happen. One thing that might happen is it might start not responding. Basically, you get this circle on your screen like something's loading, and then Minecraft will say not responding. If that happens, don't freak out about it. Just let it happen. Let it go through. Don't worry. It'll just work itself out if you just sit and wait. So, nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and let this start up, and I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. And there we go, and in the startup process, we actually never went over 2 gigabytes of RAM used. And what that means to me is that you're not going to have any issues running this mod pack on 3 gigs of RAM, which is what it was by default, which is kind of surprising. Typically, you have to raise the RAM, and this one, you should be okay. But I don't think there's any doubt that the mod pack has started up here. But if we just go ahead and create ourselves a new single-player world... Um, we'll, we'll just leave everything as default there and click create. It'll go ahead and launch us on in here and we'll be able to see that in fact the mod pack has installed and we'll be able to start adventuring and dungeon crawling. I'm actually excited to see this mod pack. This might actually be a really fun mod pack for even me to play. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But nevertheless, if you guys are looking for an incredible Minecraft 1.13.2 plus server or an incredible Skyblock server, play.breakdowncraft.com is the one for you. It's been in the bottom left of the screen the entire time and it's just an incredible Minecraft server that we've put a ton of work into. Now, we've joined into the game here. As you can see, we've got a book to start us off with here. World Domination with overblo uh, Open Blocks. We've got Starting House. We've got Doggy Charm and all sorts of cool stuff, including our quest book, which, as you can see, is all super custom. Now, we've spawned in an area that uh, it looks like we're going to die on, the, on our spawn here because for some reason it has uh, spawned us underground, and I, I don't know why. I think we've spawned in... Some sorts of modded tree. One moment to get me out. By the way, I will say with 4.5 gigabytes of RAM, while I'm recording, we are looking at uh, 30 FPS, which is uh, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. All right, give me a second. I want to at least see the above ground. There we go. We got out. All right, so now this is like where you would typically spawn in. And uh, we're getting a little bit of lag, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, this is typically where you would spawn in, in the ocean, to get your quest started. Nevertheless, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this every single day of the week on mod packs, on starting mod packs with servers, all sorts of stuff. I can't wait to help you out in even more videos. Nevertheless, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.